hello dear children how are you i hope you all are fine and we were doing in our previous class act 1 scene 1 explanation and we have to continue today till line number 41 we have done and we have to continue from line number 42 that is antonio's speech okay so we shall start our explanation uh, just we can have a recap of what we have learned earlier so before this in this scene what is given that a uh, whole a present antonio salarino and salanio okay three of the friends are there and antonio is in melancholy mood melancholic means that is sad mood okay and he himself does not know that why he is sad what is the reason behind his sadness he does not know so salarino and salanio his friends are trying to find out the reason that why he is sad why antonio is sad and salarino and salanio gave various reason uh, like salanio is there salanio in his speech said that uh, that if i also had same kind of business operation like you uh, then i would be also sad thinking of my ships whether they will safely reach to the destination or not and then salarino also said that uh, if i also had such kind of business operation like you big business operation like you then uh, each and everything that is present in the sea that would also make me worried that whether my ships will reach safely abroad or not and what all things he said that is he at first said about the wind that is uh, if i blow air on the hot soup then the warmness of that air reminds me of the warm winds that is blowing on the sea and what harm it can make to my ships okay and then after that he also said that i even cannot see the sandy hour glass run that i even cannot see the uh, sandy hour glass and what is sandy hour glass that it's an apparatus it is an apparatus uh, in which sand is there and from one side to the other sphere uh, sand runs so he says that i can even not see the sandy hour glass because uh, by looking at the sand running from one sphere to the other what i am reminded of that i uh, get into my mind the thought that how at the flat banks how at the flat banks and at the shallow place there is risk for my ship to go aground okay and then he also said that when i look at the a uh, holy building of the church so those stones which are there those rocks which are there of the church building by looking at those rocks i am reminded of the rocks which are present in the sea and if my ship will go and struck with these big rocks so what will happen then my ship will uh, get completely uh, what we say completely it will get uh, damaged and it will be into pieces and all the cargo whatever is in it it may come out and may spread there on the roaring water okay so he says all these things that i know antonio that you are uh, surely sad because of your merchandise merchandise means because of your business okay and now we have to continue from antonio's speech now antonio says antonio replied to his friends salanio and salarino believe me no i thank my fortune for it my fortunes my ventures are not in one bottom trusted nor to one place nor in my whole estate upon the fortune of this present year therefore my merchandise makes me not sad now what antonio said that believe me antonio said to his friends that you believe me that whatever i am saying that no why he said no he said no because i am not sad because of my business okay antonio said to salarino and salario that you believe me i am not sad because of my business operation and then i thank my fortune for it so what he says that i thank my fortune for it now what is the meaning of fortune 42 number other side you can see that two meanings are given of fortune one is 
luck and other is well okay so he says that i thank my luck for it or we can also say i thank my wealth for it my ventures are not in one bottom trusted so what he says that my ventures now venture means business it is given point number 43 so he says that my ventures my business are not in one bottom trusted now bottom trusted bottom here means ship okay bottom here means ship so he says that i i am thankful my to my luck for this my business are not in one trusted ship okay because antonio was having several ships he was having many ships and all the ships had gone to different countries so if one ship also will get uh, lost also or if it will get uh, completely destroyed also still he has another ships uh, he has so many other ships we have which have gone to different countries and uh, they from that he will get successful return okay profit so he says that is my venture are not in one bottom trusted that my business does not rely on only one ship not to one place that is not to one place that is my all my ships have not gone to one place one country nor is my whole estate upon the fortune of this present year and then he says that is nor is my whole estate whole estate estate meaning is given here line number 44 you can see 44 to 45 that nor is my financial position estate means position financial position that nor is my financial position dependent on the business ventures of this year therefore my merchandise makes me not sad so antonio says finally that therefore that this is the reason my business is not the reason to make me sad okay now once again i'll repeat what is given in this speech uh, here antonio said to his friend that believe me dear friends that uh, i'm not sad because of my business operation and for this i thank my luck for it i thank my wealth for it that my business my business that is my ventures what is given that my ventures are not in one bottom trusted that my business is does not trust on in uh, on one ship only nor to one place that is nor my ships have gone to all at one uh, in one country nor is my whole estate nor is my whole estate means that is nor my financial position uh, upon the fortune of this present year my financial position does not on, depend only on the financial on the fortune of this present year therefore i say that my business operation is not the reason to make me sad then salarino replied to him that why then you are in love then what salarino said that why why he means well that well that means you are in love then antonio fi fi that means shame 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 upon you salarino what you are saying that i am in love then salarino said not in love neither then let us say you are sad because you are not merry and it were as easy for you to laugh and leap and say you are merry because you are not sad now what salarino replied antonio he said that not in love neither that is you are not in love also that means love is also not the reason to make you sad then let us say you are sad because you are not merry and then what salarino said to antonio then let us say that you are sad because you are not happy merry is there merry means happy that you are not sad you are sad because you are not happy and it were as easy for you to laugh and leap and say you are merry because you are not sad now what he says and it would be as easy for you to laugh and become happy and leap leap means to jump and say you are happy because you are not sad now here 
what Salarino is trying to do? Salarino is trying to change mind of his friend Antonio. He is trying that Antonio may come out of his sadness and become happy. That's why he is making such kind of confusing statements. And then Salarino said after this, now by two-headed genus, nature has framed strange fellows in her time. Some that will evermore peep through their eyes and laugh like parrots at a bagpiper and others of such vinegar aspect that they will not show their teeth in way of smile, though Nestor swear the jest be laughable. Now what is given? What Salarino said to Antonio? That now by two-headed Janus. Now who is Janus? Point number 42, you can see Janus, a Roman god of doors. Okay, who is Janus? A Roman god of doors who had two faces, one frowning, the other smiling. That is, Janus was a Roman god of doors and he had two faces, one frowning. Frowning means that is one giving angry expression, that angry and sad expression and the other face smiling so one head looking inward and the other looking out he is referred to here to indicate that nature creates two different types of men with different outlooks okay now why reference of janus is given here by salarino now reference is given of janus in order to describe about two types of people two types of men that Two types of men are there and they both have different outlooks okay so here what Salarino said that now by two-headed genus nature has framed strange fellows in her time that is in nature we may find two different types of people having different type of outlook some that will evermore peep through their eyes now he says that there are some men who always what they do that they peep through their eyes peep means looking secretly okay they always peep through their eyes and laugh like parrots at a bagpiper that is and such kind of men who peep through their eyes they even laugh like parrots at a bagpiper that is by listening to the sound of the uh, musical instrument bagpiper they even laugh and others of such vinegar aspect and the other type of men we find in the nature are who are having vinegar aspect okay vinegar aspect means that is you can see other side at first line number 40 sorry 54 that peep through their eyes wrinkle their faces when they laugh so that they their eyes appear to be peeping through the folds and 55 number is given that is a laugh even at a bagpiper as foolishly as a parrot laughs at anything okay then of vinegar aspect point number 56 that with such a sour expression that there are other type of men uh, who have very sour type of expression on their face that they will not show their teeth in way of smile that is those people who have vinegar type of aspect sour type of a uh, sour type of expression so they never show their teeth in way of smile that is they never smile very easily though nestor swear the jest be laughable that is uh, those type of men are like nestor okay now who is nestor point number 58 it is given here an old and wise Greek general who fought in the Trojan War. A joke had to be extremely funny if Nestor laughed at it. Okay, now who is Nestor? An old and wise Greek general who fought in the Trojan War. And a, la a joke had to be extremely funny if Nestor laughed at it. It is important you have to keep in mind that who is uh, Janus? and who is Nestor so all these are important thing so here you can see that in this speech 
in Salarino's speech what he has explained now here he is telling Antonio that in nature there are two type of men and two type of men are there having different nature and one type of men are those who even those who always remain happy and they re smile and remain happy they laugh even at the silliest thing and another type of men are there we find in nature what do they do that is they uh, do not laugh so easily and they are like nestor uh, any of the joke has to be extremely funny if we want to make them laugh okay then after this you can look further on page number 24 now what salanio says here comes bassanio your most noble kinsman graciano and lorenzo fare you well we leave you now with better company now what salanio saw salanio saw that bassanio was coming uh, to this side and salanio said to antonio that here comes bassanio that here comes bassanio your most noble kinsman now what is the meaning of kinsman that probably means a friend okay so he said that here comes your dear friend bassanio and graciano and lorenzo and graciano and lorenzo are also with bassanio so fare you well that is goodbye to you fare you well means goodbye to you antonio we leave you now with better company that is we leave you now with better company and who are the better company bassanio graciano and lorenzo then salarino after this said i would have stayed till i had made you merry if worthy of friends had not prevented me now what salarino said that i would have remained here with you till the time i had not made you happy merry is there merry means happy and if worthy of friends had not prevented me that is if worthy if more of your dear friends had not stopped me prevented me as now he means to say salarino means to say here that as your dear friend bassanio graciano and lorenzo have come here so we have to go away from here and if they would have not come we would have remained here for some time more and we would have made you happy we would have changed your mind then antonio said your worth is very dear in my regard i take it your own business calls on you and you embrace the occasion to depart now what antonio said that your worth is very dear to me so he says that you are also equally important to me i take it that is i accept it i accept it means that is he says that i allow you to go from here your own business calls on you so he says that you would be having some of your important work and you embrace the occasion to depart you embrace the occasion 66 number on the other side you can see that you take the opportunity to go away from here now meanwhile who entered bassanio lorenzo and graciano okay now who entered into the scene bassanio lorenzo and graciano so salarino looking at these three gentlemen he said good morrow my good lords so salarino said to bassanio lorenzo and graciano that good morning my dear lords bassanio replied good signe both when shall we laugh say when you grow exceeding strange must it be so then what bassanio said that good signes both that is good morning to both the gentlemen signes is there that means gentlemen that good morning to both of you gentlemen when shall we laugh now when shall we laugh here you can see laugh means point number 68 given on the other side laugh here means that have a merry party together so basani is asking when shall we laugh that is when shall we meet uh, in a party and have get together and we can enjoy okay because whenever you meet together 
any at any place with your friends then there you enjoy and you laugh so same way here Bassanio says that is when shall we laugh that is when can we meet together and have party celebration and we can enjoy say when so he says that tell when you grow exceeding strange must it be so now what Bassanio says that is you grow exceeding strange point number 69 you can see here it is given that you are becoming strangers to me now how Salarino and Salanio are becoming strangers to Bassanio and others so because since many days they have not sit together enjoyed together and met to each other so he says that you are becoming strangers to me and must it be so that is it is very much needed that we may meet together and enjoy and ask about each other's life then Salarino replied we will make our leisures to attend on yours and what Salarino said that we will make our leisures that is we will find out some free time to attend on yours that is uh, whenever it will be convenient to us we will meet together and we will spend some time point number 70 you can see meaning is given that when we are free and when it is mutual mutually convenient that is when it will be convenient to me also and to you also we shall meet together okay after saying this Salarino and Salanio exit that is they leave the place now who are left here Antonio Lorenzo Graciano and Bassanio now these four gentlemen are here now Lorenzo what Lorenzo says my lord Bassanio since you have found Antonio we too will leave you but at dinner time I pray you have in mind where we must meet now what Lorenzo says to Bassanio that my lord Bassanio since you have found Antonio so he says to Bassanio that is as you have found now your friend Antonio we too will leave you that is we too we too means Lorenzo and Graciano so he says that we both of us will leave you with him but at dinner time I pray you so he says that but at dinner time I pray you I pray you means here I request you I request you have in mind where we must meet that is you keep that in mind that where we have to meet you remember that where we have to meet together at night then Bassanio says I will not fail you that is I will not disappoint you okay now till here we have completed children line number 74 and after this we shall continue in the next video. Thank you.